I'm here with top Las Vegas criminal defense lawyer Michael Becker. And Mike, today I want to talk to you about the Nevada crime of assault with a deadly weapon. Um, what is the legal definition of ADW? An assault with a deadly weapon is threatening to use or actually using something that was either designed to be a weapon or something that wasn't designed to be a weapon but was used in such a manner that it could be threatening or cause harm. And what, what are some examples? An example would be, the most common example would be uh, pointing a gun at somebody, um, even if you don't fire it necessarily, or you know if you did fire it, um, could be charged as an assault with a deadly weapon. Um, another example might be in Las Vegas, for example, you get into a bar fight and you smash someone over the head with a beer, even, uh, even though the beer bottle might not design to be a weapon when used in that fashion, a prosecutor could deem that it would, was capable of being a deadly weapon. Or even like a pencil, let's say, um, that you stab somebody with in the neck. I mean, normally a pencil is a very innocent object, but, uh, but still could be considered a deadly weapon in that context. That's correct. Now, if somebody gets uh, convicted of assault with a deadly weapon here in Nevada, what, what are they looking at? Assault with a deadly weapon in Nevada is a felony, and it carries with it a term of one to six years in the Nevada uh, prison. It is probationable, which means if you're convicted, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to go to prison. It means you could go to prison. You could also receive a probationary sentence. And as a criminal defense lawyer, you've had a lot of success over the years uh, at representing people charged with ADW. What, uh, what are some of the things that, that you found effective in defending clients? It's very common when we have a case involving assault with a deadly weapon that there was some kind of mutual combat going on. I'll use the beer bottle example. Um, you know, there, there, it could be a situation where somebody started a fight in a bar and someone, someone threw a punch and someone had a beer in their hand and, and they swung back but happened to have the beer bottle in their hand when they swung back. They were utilizing self-defense. And uh, we've achieved results where we've gotten people acquitted even when they've inflicted substantial damage to someone by use of, let's say, a beer bottle. So even if they did, let's say, use a deadly weapon or, or, or sort of use an object in, in kind of a, in, a, in, a, in a dangerous fashion, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're guilty of the crime. I mean, it might have been self-defense, like you say, mutual combat. Um, there might even be false accusations. I mean, it might be that the client didn't even, it never even used a weapon, but uh, there was a vindictive accuser who, who made up a story. That's correct. And often in Las Vegas, we see scenarios where the accuser may be intoxicated. Mm -hmm. The accuser may have been the aggressor. The accuser may have been belligerent, causing trouble. And then we speak to witnesses or we get surveillance video from the casino and we can see that it was actually the accuser that kind of engaged in events that brought about a response. But when you look at it, you can very clearly come to see that it wasn't the defendant's fault. And so again, these cases require some investigation. You've got to interview all the witnesses to get the complete story. Uh, but often we're able to get very good results in these types of cases. And often what might appear to be, what might appear to have happened to the police initially it, what we learn later that, that what actually happened is very different, a, a, a much different story. That, that's correct. And it's not uncommon that we see cases where we have a client who has no criminal history whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And then the person that's the alleged victim in the situation has been in and out of prison, has a history of assaulting people, of criminal violence. And that can also be very persuasive to a prosecutor to try to get a grip of what was really going on and what really led up to the activities that ultimately resulted in an arrest. So ultimately having a good criminal defense lawyer uh, and a good defense investigation can potentially get the result in the charges getting reduced or dismissed. Absolutely. I'm attorney Michael Becker with the Las Vegas Defense Group. If you've been charged in Las Vegas or anywhere throughout the state of Nevada with assault with a deadly weapon, call us at 702-DEFENSE. Let's hear your side of the story and let's talk about what we can do to help you get your charge reduced or dismissed.